Hello friends, it's Mrs. Arnold. I hope you guys are all doing well this week. We are getting closer to the end of the school year, um, which I know is kind of hard to even see and understand since we're all doing this from home, but we are getting close to it officially being summer break. Um, and so I hope you guys are getting a little bit excited for that. Um, but I do have a new lesson for you this week on problem solving. So everyone in the world has to deal yeah. with some sort of problem solving. Um, and yeah, yeah. it's important to keep in mind some different strategies and everything when we do have problems that we need to solve. So we're going to talk about a couple of different um, problems that may arise and how we can solve them and we are going you you're going to watch um, a video as well so um, the first thing that I'm going to have you do is uh, back on the main page um, on my website there's another link for this video on YouTube that's called solving problems with Hunter and Eve so I would like for you to pause um, pause this my video here on this lesson and and go back to YouTube go back to that website to watch this video on YouTube so I'm just gonna pause here for a minute and um, let you pause this video go watch this one with Hunter and Eve and then come back here and pick up um, where you kind of where you left off with this video Okay, so hopefully you went and watched that video. So, um, so they were Hunter had a little bit of a problem, right? He needed to cross the um, the the river, but the water was going really fast, and he knew that it would be dangerous to try to swim, right? And but he needed to get across to get to school. So the first thing that he did was um, he, you know, he saw that there was a problem and then he tried to think of different solutions for the problem. So it's important when we have problems that instead of just getting frustrated or overwhelmed right away, we just we say, OK, so here's the problem. Now let's try to think of some ideas so we can make a list of your ideas for solutions. And what Hunter did then too, was he kind of tried to think through what it would look like if he did each of those ideas. So he thought about what would happen if he um, built a raft, right? Well, he thought, oh, well, but if the raft crash crashes into the rocks, then the raft would just break apart. And then where would he end up? He would end up in the water, right? So then he thought um, about, oh, maybe I could just jump across. Well it was way too far for him to be able to jump, right? So if he tried to jump, he would fall into the water and that still wouldn't be safe. Um, he thought about, oh, if only he had, um, if he could have a tree go across the river, then he could walk across the tree trunk, right? But if he tried to cut the tree down, he didn't know where it was gonna fall. He's not a professional at cutting down trees, right? And so it could have fallen on him, it would have been much worse. So he thought about kind of what each solution might look like and what might happen if he chose that solution. So that's an important thing to do during problem solving as well. And um, his friend just kept um, kept encouraging him, right, to try to think of something else because he also thought about, oh, well, can you just carry me? Like, well, can you, you're a bird, can you fly? But she pointed out that owls can't fly in the rain. So, um, so it's just important to, to think through multiple solutions and also think about what might happen with each one of those solutions when you are faced with a problem. So there are two types of problems that we're going to talk about today. The first type of problem are kid problems. So kid problems are things like not knowing how to tie your shoes or having an argument with a friend or maybe you're going to school and you forgot your favorite pen at home maybe you broke a crayon um, maybe someone isn't sharing with you or the teacher didn't call on you when you raised your hand in class or you're at the back of the line this time so those are kid problems 
The second type of problems are big problems. So examples of big problems are like if the toilet was overflowing, that's a big problem. Um, if you were getting hurt, if um, you were seeing someone else get hurt, if you heard someone say that they were going to hurt someone or themselves, or if your dog ran, ran away and ran away from the house. But, but here's the difference. You may have noticed the difference between the two type of problems. Kid problems are problems you can solve by yourself for the most part, right? So if, um, if somebody isn't sharing with you, you can talk about it with them. You can ask them, you know, like, hey, if I shared this with you, will you share that with me? You can take turns or, you know, if that's not gonna work, then you can just kind of remove yourself from that situation. Um, if you're the last in line, you can remind yourself, okay, well, today I'm last in line, but yesterday I was the line leader, and so that's why I'm last in line today, right? So you can kind of think through those things, um, and you can solve those problems yourself. Big problems, though, you definitely would need help from an adult. Um, so if the toilet was overflowing, you're going to need help from an adult, right? Um, if you're getting hurt, or if someone else is talking about hurting someone or themselves, you absolutely need help from an adult. Um, and so those type of things, the bigger problems are harder to solve by yourself. Um, and you just need that adult to help you work through those things. So now we're going to talk about who you can ask for help when you have a big problem. Because like we said, when we have a big problem, we want to um, get an adult to help us with those problems. And it's always okay to try to find an adult and speak to an adult when you have a big problem. We don't want you to think that you need to try to solve a big problem on your own. Um, that's why we're talking about the two different types of problems. Um, kid problems, yes, we might say, okay, well, go, go figure it out yourself. You know, like if someone's not, you know, sharing with you, try to figure it out yourself first, right? But something like if you're getting hurt or if you see someone else getting hurt, those are not things that we want you to try to figure out by yourself. Um, we want you to talk to an adult and see how an adult can help you because it's important that everyone is safe. So at home, I can ask. So let's think for a minute. Who at home could you ask for help if you're if you have a big problem? So and again, the big problems that we talked about, those are just examples, right? So there's all sorts of other big problems that you might encounter. So if you notice that you're having a problem and you don't know what to do, it's and you you feel like you need help from an adult, it's probably a big problem and you do need to go find an adult. So who can you ask at home? So start thinking for a second and why don't you kind of start listing out, calling out who you could ask for help from at home. So maybe your mom or your dad, you might have said. Maybe you said an aunt or an uncle. Maybe you said a grandparent. Maybe you said a parent's friend um, or a neighbor, right? So those are all adults at home who you can ask for help. And maybe it would be good to talk to your mom or your dad and say, like, if I have a big problem and you're not here to help me, who, who would you want me to go to to ask for help? So maybe mom or dad want to have a plan with you about who you would ask for help if there's a big problem and they're not available. So now let's think about it at school. So if you have a big problem and you're at school, who can you ask for help? So, Sorry if you hear my son in the background, guys. <laughs> He's playing. Um, but okay, so start calling, start, start naming some of the people at school you could ask for help. So maybe you said a teacher, right? Any teacher. Um, your counselor, um, the principal, Dr. Miles, or an assistant principal, or you know any other adult really in a school building anyone in the cafeteria one of the cafeteria workers anyone in this school building would be able and willing to help you if you had a big problem so you just go to any one of them so things that we want you to remember when you're facing a problem the first one is to stop what are you doing what is the problem 
what is going on, what's happening, okay? So just stop for a minute if you find yourself encountering a problem. And then next we want you to think, is this a kid problem or is this a big problem? Okay, so is this something you feel like you can solve by yourself or is this something that you need help from an adult to, in order to solve? So think about that and make that decision and then act. If it's a kid problem, go ahead and, and, and solve it yourself. If it's a big problem, go ahead and go find an adult who can help you to solve that problem. Okay, so that.